What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new highly anticipated tweak called Alt Keyboard 2. So if you guys are familiar with Alt Keyboard then you're definitely going to enjoy the new updated version for iOS 7. So you can see right here if we go ahead and swipe over to our notes and we create a new note, the first thing you'll notice are those alternate keys right on top of the keys as you can see right there. So by default you can see if we swipe up on a key then it's going to give us the number or the alternate key whatever that is right above the key right there. So you can see we just type 1 through 0 and if we swipe down then it's going to give us the capitalized version of that key just like that so very simple and easy to understand very intuitive now the next thing you're going to notice right here are two little tabs on the left and right hand side so if we drag our finger across this is actually going to move the cursor and you're going to get this magnified look right over the keyboard so that's actually pretty awesome it gives you that ability to very easily get that cursor exactly where you want it now one thing you can do is just swipe all the way over to the left I found this is the easiest way for me and then swipe up on the shift key and then swipe over and that's going to highlight everything so this is basically just like using swipe selection so you get swipe selection right in this tweak so now that we've actually highlighted this what do we want to do with it do we want to cut it copy it paste it you know whatever you can see right here that that little blue arrow right there above the space bar so what we can do with this is just swipe up on the space bar and you can see you get some options right here you can cut paste or copy so we're just going to copy it for now and now we're going to paste it again and paste it one more time so you can see just how that works now if we wanted to undo that say we didn't necessarily want to paste it then we can swipe up on the backspace key and that's going to give you the option to undo typing so you can see right there it goes directly back if we wanted to redo just do it again and you'll see you have a redo typing right there now let's hit the enter key a couple times and just type something in and say we get a option right here for autocorrect. You can see a little red X right up here. So if we wanted to get completely get rid of that or dismiss rather than trying to tap that X and it always accepting it, which is what happens to me most of the time, you can just swipe up on the enter key or the return key and it's going to negate that autocorrect. Another awesome feature, if we go down again, let's just say we're going to type in, uh, let's type in Mary just because I had that earlier. So now what we can do, we'll just swipe over. Well, let's go back here to Mary. And we're going to select all. And then you can see the little I right above the shift key. If we swipe up on that, that's actually going to define that word. So it's actually pretty cool. You can just read through all this. Now, if we go back and let's go into the settings and I can show you exactly all that you can set up here. So we're going to scroll down to Alt Keyboard 2 and then you have this nice little settings panel. So first thing we're going to jump into is the keyboard. So right here is where you're going to actually display the alternate keys on the alphabetic keyboard, the numerical keyboard, and the character keyboard. So for me, I have them all selected just because I want them there so I can see exactly what the Alt keys are. Scrolling down here, we have flick up on the key two. So this is basically just allowing you to set the action or what happens when you flick up on a key. So you can change it to either input the alternate character, which is what I have it set to, and that's the default, or you can input the capital letter, as you can see right there, or do nothing. Flicking down right here, so if you want to flick down to input the capital letter, you can set that up, which is the default, or you can change it to the input alternate character or do nothing. Now, right down here, we also have the lowercase keyboard, which I love because I always use showcase. And if you guys aren't familiar with that, basically what it does is whatever the shift key, if the shift key is on, then the letters are capitalized. If it's not on, then it's lowercase keyboard. So this is an awesome little toggle right there just because I can uninstall showcase and just use alternate keyboard too, or alt keyboard, sorry. So going back here, and tapping on auxiliary alts you can see right here we have a few more options so you have the select bar right up here so you can toggle that on or off and the select bar is basically just those options that you get when you swipe up on that space bar so the cut copy paste select all and also you have your advanced options so you can disable the bottom edge so basically what this is going to do if you have this toggled on is completely get rid of the control center while you have your keyboard up just because it's a little easier to use that space bar option right there without having to actually activate the control center so you can toggle that on or off right there now right down here you also have the always center the paste option when you swipe up on your spacebar so 
the paste is always going to be right there in the middle and then either your select all copy whatever is going to be on the opposite side so paste would always be in the middle if you have this toggled on right down here we have don't show call out pop-up now I have this toggled off but basically what this does if you have it toggled on when you select text uh, it's not going to show that pop-up menu you know the cut copy paste menu so you can toggle that on or off just depending on your preference if we go back here you're gonna have a few more options right down here which is undo and redo so this is just going to be swiping up on the backspace key and again down here we have define selection so this is going to be swiping up on the shift key and right down here we have dismiss autocorrect which is swiping up on the return key so you can toggle those on or off just depending on if you're going to use those or not and again down here we have cursor seeker which is actually pretty cool because it's going to give you some more options uh, for the cursor seeker now my favorite is actually the keyboard viewfinder which is what I showed you previously but you can go into here and we can change this up to the keyboard loop I'm pretty sure that's just loop I've never read that word out loud before but you can see right here what this does so we're gonna swipe across and you actually just get that magnifying glass right there over your keyboard now if we go back again I'll show you what the other one looks like which is going to be the classic loop and we'll swipe back over here to notes tap right here and start swiping and that is the classic so you're just gonna get that magnifying glass right up there over the actual text rather than on the keyboard now let's jump back into the settings again and you can see down here you also have your seeking mode which is moderate default which is what it's at right now you have the incremental which is going to be slower or sweeping which is faster which is this is basically just going to be how fast that cursor is moving so you can jump back here and we'll check out the creators which are Sentry and James Long which actually did an incredible job on this tweak I highly recommend checking this out this takes care of not only having a whole lot more options for your keyboard but it gets rid of showcase so you can get rid of that if you're using that as well as swipe selection if you're using that so again I highly recommend checking this out it's something that I'm going to be using on my device for quite some time. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.